America's UN Ambassador Nikki Haley. Ambassador Haley, thank you for joining us this morning. You've heard some of that reaction to the president's speech yesterday, especially those words about North Korea. The, the people John quoted right there, the European Foreign Minister, European Union's Foreign Minister said, we never talk about destroying countries. How do you respond to that? Well, I think what you saw yesterday from the president was he was being honest. I know that, you know, people and countries don't want to hear it, but here is a man who continues to test ballistic missiles. He continues to test now hydrogen bombs. He continues to threaten our allies. He says he's going to destroy the United States to ashes. He says he's going to continue to send us gift packages to the United States. So if you want to talk about who's been giving the threats, it's certainly been the Kim regime. What we are saying is we have exhausted every diplomatic means, and we are going to continue to do that. While he is being irresponsible, we're going to be responsible. But we've tried to do dialogue. We've now tried to do sanctions and the international community actually very much appreciated the blunt honest approach that the president took on North Korea as well as on Iran. The president also said that denuclearization is the only acceptable outcome for, for North Korea. So does that mean that the United States is going to destroy North Korea's nuclear weapons if Kim Jong-un doesn't give them up? What it means is he needs to stop. He needs to stop with the hydrogen bomb testing. He needs to stop with the threats. He needs to stop with the ballistic but missile But does he testing. need to give to up the, the weapons? To the point that we can actually have a regular conversation. Does he need to give up the weapons? Yes, he does not need to be a nuclear power. He has shown in every way why he would be an irresponsible nuclear power, and no one in the international community wants to see that happen. Do you think it's appropriate to use a term like rocket man to talk about a leader of another country who's got nuclear weapons? Well, I'll tell you, George, it worked. I was talking to a president um, of an African country yesterday, and he actually cited Rocket Man back to me. So I will tell you that, look, this is a way of, like, you know, getting people to talk about him, but every other international community now is referring to him as Rocket Man. And on the issue of Iran, the other, the Iran nuclear agreement, uh, is the president prepared to break that agreement, even if our European allies say we shouldn't? I think the president's just looking at the situation and what he sees is while the one part of the nuclear deal is what everybody seems to talk about, the other side of U.S. law says that Iran is actually in violation of ballistic missile testing, of arms sales to terrorists and of support of terrorists. And so if you look at this, we have to call out the wrongs that we see. If we don't call them out, we will have another North Korea. And so what he is saying is, Everybody has to stop tiptoeing around Iran, who they're all worried is going to get out of the deal, and acknowledge these harmful things they're doing across the globe and call them out for it. Ambassador Haley, thanks for your time this morning. Thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.